Well, good morning here. We're at Adventure Island again. Uh, today's plan is to do a video where we can maybe uh, not spend any money all day. Yeah. Because every time we've come here, we've spent 80 to to $100. So we thought, okay, let's try to do this the easy the, or the cheap way, pretty much. Let's see what kind of day we can have like that. Um, it is a Saturday. Yeah, so the first recommendation now, if, if you have the ability to do it, would be do it on a weekday because yeah. every time we've come on a weekday we've never had what we're witnessing right now yeah so this is to get on the road to get into the entrance yeah so we have a feeling that adventure island is going to be a very packed place today yeah apparently get here early on, on the weekend if you're gonna do the weekend yeah so but um all right come with us hopefully we'll get in and then we'll talk about some of the tricks and trades of maybe saving some dollars while you're here because this place can be very expensive One of our recommendations for the park is to get yourself a nice set of water shoes. Uh, the first time we were here, we tried going barefoot yeah. and it was like 110 degrees in the pavement. But uh, these shoes are actually $10 on Amazon. Yeah, so, so my recommendation, you change, pick up a pair yeah. and then change here. Because I can't really, I mean, I can drive in these things, but it's not that comfortable. Yeah, no. You have a protection for your feet. Yeah, so we'll uh, get changed here and uh, catch you inside. That's the new slide that's going in. Come back and try it. All right, so one of our suggestions when it comes to not spending the 20 to $25 locker, right, is get here early. Unfortunately, we were here a little late, but we found the last chair. Find At least in this area. Yeah, find a chair. Now, Whatever you put in your bag, so this is our bag, whatever you have in here, you want to make sure that if it did get stolen, that you really don't care. So you're saying, well then how do I pay for things? Or how do I bring my tickets? Get one of these little phone bags, wear it around your neck. I have my tickets, a credit card, I have batteries, and I have the key to the car. So I don't have to bring all the keys, so I just have just the one key. So that's how you get around not having to get a $25 locker. Oh, and that's another thing. If you want to save on money, like drinking, bring a bottle of water. Everybody brings a bottle of water. You drink from it. When you're done, you go find a water fountain or something like that, refill it. Now you don't have to worry about water. When you go back out to your car for lunch, you bring another water in and it'll be a fresh water too. It is very crowded here today because it's a Saturday too. Okay, so here's another tip. We bought three fun passes, right? And you're, for the fourth pass, we were like, okay, let's get a fourth fun pass. It's only $70. But then I found out that parking here is $25. So I looked up the silver pass. That was $132. Now, I bought the silver pass just for Michael, and the rest of us, we got fun passes. Comes with free parking. So. I figured it out, if we go five times, which we do plan on doing over the summer, go five times here. At least. At least. Um, the, Mike's Pass comes out to $7 because of all the free parking. So right there, you're saving money. So if you want to come and you want to do the Fun Pass, yeah, if you want to do the Fun Pass, get one Silver Pass because you get free parking, but you get percentages off on food and merchandise. So it's a good deal. But you don't need four, just get one. So, hope you enjoyed that tip. Let's go on and have some more fun. As you can see, 
This is the line for man Mango Joe's. It goes all the way in there and then all the way inside. The food line for them over there. That's the food line for Island East over there. The line for Seaside or Surfside Cafe. And it goes around and around. As you can see, all those lines, those people are going to be waiting over an hour just to get lunch. So, we're going to go out to the parking lot and we have a lunch ready. And I saw some picnic tables out there, so we're going to go set up some picnic tables. We're going to have a nice picnic today. And it's all going to be free. Yep, this will be the best part to save money. Right. Okay, so as we were leaving, we told them we needed to go out to our car. They gave us a little thing here. And now when we come back, we just show it to the turnstiles and they'll let us back in. So. Yeah. Of beer. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. Um, I know we've said before that the the ten dollar pass would not be worth it. I'm thinking on the weekends it definitely is worth it because. These lines, some of them are really long. The one to skip rides. But remember, that doesn't include all slides. It only records, includes a couple of them. On the weekdays, I really don't think it is because the lines, we've, we've yeah, been here we on never a had Friday and a Monday, and we've waited 15 minutes for most rides, except for the Solar Vortex, which is always like an hour. We did some of the math here. Um, for four people with four drinks, it would cost $75 for one meal. Now with the silver pass that Michael has, which has you get discounts from it, um, it would cost sixty-five dollars. So if you're an annual pass holder, you might not want to spend sixty-five, seventy dollars every time you come. This is a great option. You can pack yourself for a picnic lunch. You come down the hill and you eat, and you don't spend any money. So far, we have spent zero dollars today. So just the gas to get here. Yep, just the gas to get here. So after dropping off our cooler after having our lunch, we well, see there's a nice picnic pavilion area over there that we probably could have enjoyed as well. Yeah, well, the, the, so on the left side, there's that little one, mm -hmm. and then it looks like on the right side of the parking lot, all the way at the end, in the back next to the new slides, yeah. you'll find an actual that says picnic pavilion. Yeah, I don't know how many people venture up here because nobody is here. Yeah. So we returned our yellow pass to them and they let us back inside. Yay, so now we're back inside. <laughs> You can see here we are a few hours later and people are still waiting in a long line for food. help you either save money or at least understand Adventure Island a little better. Help you with your decisions. Yeah. Um, also, as you can see, we were showing you some of the lines. There's still like 30, 40 people deep on some of these lines. So even if you don't want to save money, but you don't want to wait in line for two and a half hours for a lunch, um, maybe going out to the parking lot with a, a picnic lunch might be better for you too. And we're not claiming to be experts. No, we're not experts at all. We certainly aren't saying that Adventure Island is the best place. Next year we're going to do a different place. We just hadn't been to Adventure yeah, Island. Yeah, when compared to other yeah. parks, I mean, I'm not really trying to knock the place, yeah. but uh, this is one of the smaller ones. But we hadn't been here in 20 years, so exactly. we, that's why we wanted to come this time. That's summer. why we did it, chose this one. Yeah, but um, that's going to be it for this. After you hit that like and subscribe button, uh, leave your comments, and um, what else? We'll see you on the next one.